Hello world. Hello Twitch chat. I think my volume may be just a smidge high. I'm going to turn it down just a tiny bit, just a little. Tell me if that's okay. And welcome back to Spiritfarer. Here we are. We are pretty close to the the end of the game now. We've got Buck and Elena on our boat. We've got Jackie at Overbrook Hospital, who's got lots of things he's asking us to do. And today is a little special because I've got stuff happening right after the stream, so I need to be out of here definitely by six o'clock. So we'll be wrapping up on time today. And uh, But before then, we've got plenty to do, so... Let us continue. And in particular, we are currently at the... Here it's showing us. We're in this very far corner of the map. We are at the Hidden Shrine, which is where Buck has asked us to come to. And let's see where our... Yes, Demons of Light. Acquire the powers of light. We've also got some challenging map hazards that Lena wants us to do. Jackie wants us to do something at Overbrook Hospital. And whenever we consider ourselves finished, it will be time for Stella and Daffodil to go through the Evador themselves. Now we've got another boat upgrade available to us, and, um, well, a couple more. One for size, one for speed. No shenanigans. We've kind of gone through most of the, uh, the side quests available to us at this point. Here we are. Anything out here? I have. Yep. This is why I check. Three mint collectible cards. You know, why am I not surprised to find that at the island there where a gamer sent us? The Oracle's words were true! Commander, these dark woods conceal a shrine of immense power. Old ancient shrines have a will of their own. Imbued with the divine power of Halteron the Wise, they can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Romalda. I take a short rest. The shrine is covered in too much I can read. Only you, the Chosen One, can resonate with its magic. Only you, the Star Child, can wield the glaive of divine justice. Go, Commander. Cast your heavenly magic and whisper the secret words. May your actions enlighten our path. Cast your magic, chosen one. Okay, cool. Can I talk to you all first? Roll crits! Roll crits! May the light be. Nothing. Fuck. Sorry, Commander. I'm no need of such reinvigorating embrace. My mana is full. No hugs for you. He has a well-improved house. He was hugged recently. Very well. Anything off on this side doesn't look like it. Right. Onwards, then. I like these little lanterns. Oop. Whoa. I overshot. New ability, Light Burst. Press the light, press the right trigger to release Everlight energy in all directions around you. We have six obbles, so after this we'll have four more extra.
So right trigger to release Everlight energy. Okay, and it's on a cooldown. Magical! Blessed be the eleven stars! You definitely are the chosen one! The light bearer! The sun bringer! She who shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness drenched in shadow. That power bestowed upon you by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon. A weapon whose power will rival the thrice-forged glaive of Effeldur, the first of the Dalars. Alas, this party must split up now. The Silver Company has played its role fully, and it is time for me its members to ride back to their homesteads. Hello. Also, these guys are past their curfews and need to get back home. Let's trek back to the Galleon, where I shall describe our next task in great lore-dumping details. Also, I need to look again at my notes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Commander, you soared like a celestial starbird. I kneel before your magnificence, O Chosen One. You are the true wielder of magic. The rightful heir of the radiant crown of Romalda. Huzzah for Stella! Huzzah for you, Commander! Long live our hope! I'm Jerome, and my latest character is M. Daryl. Have I told you about the changes they made to mounted combat in the latest compendium? We really need to talk about it. What will be our side quest, I wonder? I am Elperin, the ranger. As leader of the Silver Company, I'm honored to meet you. Do you have more to say? It's kind of easier to talk to your friends. It's me, Werderick the Bard. I sing songs, cast spells, and smoke the pipe. But mostly I smoke the pipe. <laughs> and now it's morning. Ah, Francis is here. Ah! I've got a favor to ask. Yes, yes. Me, a favor? How odd it must be for you. Nobody must ask you for favors on that giant boat of yours. Listen, as a wandering merchant, I'm always looking for the next customer. I can't really do the simple things in life. I always need to be ready. Now, I have an important errand for you. I need... I need you to get my groceries. I know, I know. I can't just... I just can't live off fish and seagulls for eternity. Go have a look. My grocery list might seem strange to you. I assure you it's very common where I'm from. Okay. Uh, let's buy some odd seeds. Don't need bottles. We can sell off some chachis. What errands do you have? Ooh, the Saturday night shopping list would get us a treasure map. That's cool. But we need lots of electrum sheets. Okay, well, we can do that. Good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. Greasy spoon. Lots of kind of glim centric errands. Oh, and a good way to get diamonds. That's very nice. Fist but a flesh wound. Doused <laughs> uh, fools. Amanda. What's up, Buck? Commander, I must sadly bequeath you with a grim knowledge. I need to shed an anguished light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the primeval evil powers of the lich god Nor Gor Nemloth by ourselves. We must rally to our cause the free people of the three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor! We will trek through the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. The fires of Tondor might be known to you already. Cradle of Light itself, the Tower of Radiance where you met me, your humble narrator. 
Then the most conspicuous fire of Tondor is nested at the heart of the Gallery of Sins. Finally, the last fire of Tondor is hidden atop the eternal ice spire, concealing its pure white light. But, Commander, you have to know that our roads will be all but safe. I must warn you of the great danger posed by the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan. Their master, the war chief Umgrothog One Eye, is Gornemloth's vassal. Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush us at the faintest of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative! One, fumble! You are completely taken by surprise! The orcs jump from the shadows and bellow ugly roars. The Shadow Steel Clan will devour your innards, shouts Kumgata, the orc chieftain. Ready yourself! And Commander, some of these foes will be protected by Gornemlot's nefarious magic. Only your light burst ability can shatter their protection. May the fight begin! What? I gotcha. Ah! Orcs! Cardboard cutouts all over the place. Oh, there's one. There's a special one. Ah! No, it's the right trigger <laughs> for the light burst. That's what I need to use on those, the light burst. Gotcha! Hey, an XP potion, finally! This is how we get them. And I know what I want to do with my first few of them. on this boat. Fantastic! Crawling through the debris, wounded and vanquished, Gomgota extirpates himself from the field. I will be back, stronger and crueler. In a shriek, the routed orc vanishes from the remnants. This was astounding, Commander. Your fighting aptitude is exceptional. But there is not a minute to waste. Cowering deep in their caves, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan are regrouping and planning their revenge. Quick, to the fires of Tondor! Alright, well, let's get out of here. However, the closest thing to us is this severe thunderstorm which Elena wants us to deal with. So let's set a waypoint here, and then where should we go next? Here's one of the lighthouses, so let's go there next. And let's see, I've improved one of the orchards. You can see the little uh, star here on it, but not the other two, so we can work on that as well. Honestly, this is so much more of everything than I actually need. No, no. Use some corn and then milk you. Like we've got some eggs, ten eggs, my goodness.
Hmm. Did we not actually take the path I intended? No, we did not. We were supposed to go through the severe thunderstorm. Oh well, I will keep an eye out for another one. Are they elsewhere on the map? Don't tell me that's the only one. Well, we'll go back to it. Not like it's very far away. See, let's get some more corn in the ground. And let's plant odd seeds. Here we are at the lighthouse. My tea is still a bit hot to drink. Hello, Theodore. What do you have? You have tea seeds, you have maybe linen seeds. <laughs> that little laugh, it's so adorable. light burst, I can light the lighthouse. Awesome. Okay, Nordsea Pier and Sandwich Walk are the other two. But before we go there, let's go back to this Especially nasty thunderstorm. Hi, Lily. Wonderful. You did it, Commander. The first fire has been lit, and you can hear the hopeful chants of the free people from afar. Your worth is grander than the mightiest arm of Rock Thador the Paladin. The moon birds of Wa Aeron will soon sing your praises in all the languages of Romalda. But, Commander, as bright our moment of joy can shine, we have to remain vigilant. Gomgota and his lackeys will probably be alerted by the sight of this glorious fire. And, lurking in the branches. Roll initiative! Fifteen! Great! Amidst the squalor of the exotic foliage, you can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing towards your encampment. Getting closer... Springing from their retreat, they jump on you. Fight! Oh, here they come again. And it's so dark. Oh, I see you up there. Where's one of the... There you go. You with the XP potions. It's almost like he's shining a flashlight on the orcs as they come up. Oh, I just missed him. Thought I had to get lower. Come 
Commander, I... Well, never mind. I have some snacks, Stella. Do you want some? Victory! Hello. The dust from what was an epic battle barely settles. Layers upon layers of evil carcasses litter the ground of the battlefield. We're exhausted, but once again victorious. Make a perception check. Fourteen! Success! As you observe your defeated enemies, you can only wonder where Gumgata lies. He is nowhere to be seen. His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He is a follower of Gornemloth, after all, and his cowardice is notable. Quick, let's ride post-haste. The next fire awaits. Onward! Student. Yes, Elena? Another challenge. This is an easy one. A little bit of rain and thunder. I won't say this often. Your survival probabilities are rather high. Just don't let your guard down. You won't end up like grilled chicken. Remember, use your dash ability in there. You'll need to move really fast. Heads up, thunder is here. Ooh, okay, and I need... I need to catch at least 17. Come on. need the dash ability? Okay, I've already got at least... 17. I think I may have passed this one. So many. And time. Not bad. I wouldn't put it on a leaderboard or you on a podium, but you've got some talent. This should be a good reward for you. I don't have anything else. Scram. Oh, a treasure map. That's a good reward. I like that a lot. It's one of my favorite things. Map location, 3469. Very well. I'll write that down. Let's seek it out. Hi, Lily. Thanks for sitting with me. I hope it's not stressing you out that I'm taking a long time to die. Because sometimes that... Sometimes that can be really stressful. Like, if you know that someone's on the way out already, sometimes it's relief when they finally go, if they've been suffering. Okay, so we need to be over near Albert. It can kind of feel like like, if you feel like you've already kind of said your goodbyes... ...already... ...and the goodbye is just kind of long... ...that can be stressful. See, so we have some XP potions now. Not quite enough to upgrade the smithy. I would love to upgrade this because then making sheets will not take so long. So let's get some more XP potions. We're gonna need some gold ingots too. We're going to need oak planks for our orchards. So, gold and oak. <laughs> 
Maybe stop by the turtle as well. Especially since she's got some gold for us. Excellent. How much oak do we have? Loads of it. Nicely done. Hello. Got some gold ore, and it looks like this is pine. I must have come by here pretty recently. And... Okay, what will I need? So we need a surprising amount of that. Are you all done there? Yes. <laughs> oh, our snoring friends. Okay, we don't have enough for upgrades, so 34.69. Good morning, everyone. I'll come find you in a moment. I have orchards to improve. This one? Uh, this one's already upgraded, and we need more aluminum for that one. Okay. There you are, Buck. Good morning. Commander, I have some magic ingredients for you. Toadstools from the Shadow Forest. Can I offer them to you? Thank you. And how are you, Elena? Good morning. Uh, you like healthy food? Do you like desserts at all? Thank you for the meal. No hugs for you. She's proud of our work ethic. Okay. Ooh. Here's that treasure. Mm 
marriage ring. That's different. Once a symbol of a promise, now it's just lost. Hmm. Student. It wasn't a cakewalk for the gifted ones either. They had their own challenges. They were just open to the test. They were rewarded handsomely for their dedication. The weak ones, as much as the gifted ones, had a monster to tame. That monster was me. I am the enemy they would remember. I am the dragon they would have to slay. With hard work and complete dedication. Or they could whine and quit and be out of my sight forever. Quite a character, aren't you? All right, where to next? Nordsea Pier. Got Alina's stuff. Let's let's go to the hospital. See what Jackie wants. And that's over there. Wine Corp. Obscure Canopy. Just seeing what else there is in the area. Okay, let's just go to this bus stop. And let's get some aluminum so we can finish our orchard upgrades. of our orchards are improved as they are growing stuff faster. Not as though we need all that stuff anymore, but we have it. And the smithy, we will need more XP potions. We will also need some gold. And we will need to pick these things up. There we go. Onward. And let's make some more gold. That is too much. Okay, this is the one where I have to let it get under temperature a bit first. <laughs> Hello, Alex.
All right, got the gold. Let's get to Overbrook. Honk, 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 honk. Whee! I'm going to turn on my lovely heated mug. There we go. I think I have something in a cellar here. Nope, it's the chickens again. Yeah. Looks like this place used to have a lighthouse too, of some kind. Here's this dreary place again. Well, is it? No. I hope this line clears up soon. I won't be able to hold it in much longer. Oh, oh dear. What's taking so long? Up here, Jackie. Jackie. Hmm. There we go. I can get this amethyst and a fancy vase. Well, don't know what those are doing in a hospital, but mine now. Climb up on the inside? Apparently so. Somebody's sighing. Ah! No! I want to get that chest. Basically, there are platforms wherever it looks like there should be platforms. Ooh, a diamond and a mint collectible card. Okay, well, what's up here? New request, the old guitarist. Strange melody. All those post-its. The old guitarist, Daria, play the strange melody in the difficult patient's room. Jackie was not at his usual post, and I managed to enter the difficult patient's room. She looks unresponsive, but perhaps I can snap her out of it. you are. You have that quality. Some fine dust following you around. You're dirty, more so than the rest. The ground around you falls down. It is... It is... Perhaps it's the music? It feels like a beacon, a light shining through the mist. No. 
It doesn't. I'm sorry, I'm not used to talking anymore. My voice comes with difficulty. It so rarely does. More often than not, my voice comes whether I want it or not. It barks or whistles. No choice. But right now, it doesn't. Yes, that's right. I understand now. Stella, isn't it? We met so long ago. I wasn't here yet. And you were much older. Your music is harsh, Stella. It is not a beacon. It is an anchor. Large and heavy, back-breaking. And it might be razor-sharp as well. I've yet to decide. To... I will... I... Huh. There you are, Jackie. You deadbeat. Rise and shine! Time for your... What the shit? Yeah, where were you, dude? I'm giving you the death glare here. Smellers? What are you doing up here? Oh, you got curious, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can't blame you. Nutcases are often a fascinating spectacle. Some sensitivity for your patience, please? But I see you've already met Ms. I don't want to take my pills. Pretty underwhelming, right? I don't know. She's artistic, if nothing else. The doctors, they call it catatonia. She just stays there, still, for hours. Pretty freaky, right? But I swear half the time she's pretending just to spite me. Still, I glare. You should see when she starts chatting. She's quite something. All ancient one, omnipotent shit. I'm on to you, Daria. Oh, might be a real one. Hey, Daria, you there? It's your friend, Jackie. Blink once if you can hear me. Ugh, dude. This is not okay. Yeah, this one seems like a doozy. I don't think she's faking it. Let's leave her to it, okay? So, about what happened in there. You see how she reacted to your presence? She's a mess right now. I know you're trying to help, but things aren't so easy. You can't always just smile the problems away. Trust me, the best thing for her is to stay up there and not to excite her. So, please, don't go back up. You're just hurting her. Got it? What's that? I sent you strange messages through the pager? Oh yeah, these... Uh, my bad, they were for someone else. Just... Don't worry about it, alright? And also, let's keep this one between you and me, okay? What management doesn't know won't hurt them. You wouldn't want old Jackie to be in trouble now, would you? Uh, maybe you need to be. Well, I have a feeling we'll be back. And I have certainly seen how... You know, I've sometimes gone uh, Christmas caroling at old folks' homes. And you can see how you know, people who seem pretty out of it, you know, they're just not responding to very much. You sing a Christmas carol they remember and, and they just light up and join in and life kind of comes back to them for a while. The music is really powerful. We've got another one of Alina's challenges right up here. And it looks like we found all the things here that we really need to find. We can swing by the shop, maybe. But let's, um... Oh, and here's the gold dragon as well. So let's, uh, let's go sailing. See if we can impress Elena. Tall order, but we'll see what we can do.
Hmm. Not a lot of valuable rings. It's Chachi's there. So we have one marriage ring that we got from a special treasure map. Once a symbol of a promise, now it's just lost. If I go into Chachi's, there's the valuable ring. A beautiful specimen of the one true ring. But this one doesn't rule anything except your wallet. It should be sold. Specimen of the one true ring. That would seem to hint that maybe this one is the true one. All right, almost ready for our next test. I'm going to plant some wheat. All right. The elements are after you. You need to be scared to vanquish them. Ready now? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so apparently Light Burst will help. And I need to get at least... 13. Of course, if I Light Burst, I can't dash. Prime time to use the <sighs> That was terrible. Thirteen. Did I do it? I think I may have passed. They're fast. <laughs> yes, sheep, I know this is all very confusing to you. 32! Dude! That was very impressive. Power out. Too busy to fix it. Urgent, please come. <laughs> Engineering 101. Alright, what's up, Elena? Better. I can see you were sweating a bit. Good. These challenges are supposed to be difficult. You have earned a carrot. Not a literal carrot, but a reward. Here it is. It is in the form of a challenge, however. I have nothing more to say to you. Feedback over. Another treasure map. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Treasure map, treasure map, treasure map. 40 minus 50. Okay. Let's take a look at our map. Forty minus fifty is roundabout down there. Anything interesting near there? There's the hidden thicket. There's this whole kind of dark chunk. Oh, it's not far from Sandwich Walk. That's where the next lighthouse is. All right, well, let's swing by Overbrook and then we can go to the bus and then, uh, and then we can do those things. Speaking of Overbrook, 
Go to Overbrook Hospital and inquire to Jackie about the power out. Okay. Ding dong. morning. Yes, good morning to you as well. Do you like cheese sticks? Thank you for the meal. I need it to improve the sheep corrals as well. Yes, I just need some more linen fiber. And for that, I need to just grow linen. Okay, well, that's the next thing then. Okay, here we are, back at the hospital. Nothing else in there. up, Jackie? Over here! Oh, it's you! Phew, I'm actually relieved. See, when it started smelling like sulfur, I really thought a volcano was about to go off. Or perhaps I was having a stroke. Luckily, it's only Smell Art's natural B.O. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming so quickly. As you can see, I'm swamped again, and the hospital's main power converter just shut down. Again. I swear the crap management puts us through. Don't worry, it happens all the time. The hospital's running off the backup power generator right now. But if that one goes AWOL, well... Yeah, let's not think about that. An electrician really should be fixing the main power converter, but I've managed fine until now. It's simple, really. Take this key, it unlocks the elevator on the far east of the hospital. Once you're up there, you gotta find the fuse box and, uh... Just press all the buttons until you hear a noise. That's what I usually do. Thanks for the help. Okay. Elevator on the east side. This is just a little thing. Fix the fuse box at the top of the elevator on the eastern side of Overbrook. Oh, there was more over here, wasn't there? Yes. There's the elevator. Check that out. Oh, and that's how I can get up here. Hi, Daria. You awake for me? Are you back? 
Yes, yes, you are. I have to remember. I must make it stick. Clues and hints, they give you away. Yes, I'll remember. The weight of your music. And all of your noises. Dead giveaways. You couldn't keep away, could you, Stella? I think the giant told you to stay off. Ugh. He told you to... Stay away. He did, did he not? After your last visit, he ripped the melody. Oh, I'm glaring again. <laughs> Lean off the wall. Next morning it was back up. You do not see it? I see. Seems like I still have a lot to learn. Well, maybe I'm getting worse. I have thought it through. Your anchor, I have decided that it is not a sharp thing. It is dull and heavy. It is... Comforting? It is... No. Uninteresting. You play your battered guitar with rooted confidence. And you call for me. The ocean grows calm. The, uh, The noises. The cries. They become muffled like in a thick fog. You're wrong, Stella. You've spent so much time numbing others to their pain. Well, you've numbed yourself. When... When you play, Stella, my melody, when you play it, it is dumbed down. Solid chunk, dense platitudes, and... But... It is not your fault. Sometimes I dream, yes. In my long nights, I dream of an old friend, an instrument, strange and yet familiar. A delicate schooner with masts of crystal and sails of warped steel. And when it is caressed by the watery breeze, it wails softly. A haunting and yet comforting music. Yes, this is the instrument my melody is for. With it, perhaps I could sail freely. I'm tired now. Please, please leave. Ah. Huh. However I can? Interact with you like a boat passenger. You're Daria. And I don't know much about you. Can I feed you? Would you like popcorn? No. I need something fresh. Delicate. Okay, how about a strawberry? Fresh, delicate, juicy, delicious fruit. Thank you. <laughs> Drinking from a big flower there. Or something. How about if I hug you? Ah, bat hug. Fuzzy and soft. Delicate. Likes fresh fruit. Dislikes everything else. Ooh, okay. Well, that's a good use for all this orchard fruit we're getting. Over here. Mm -hmm. I see the main power is back on. Super. Did you use my patented mash every button randomly technique? I swear it could be an engineer. Their job is a joke. The whole engineering thing is a scam anyway. It's just wires French kissing other wires. We get it. Gosh, Jackie. Another way for rich people to keep rich while shitting on us pours from their ivory towers. We should organize. Start a revolution or something, you know? Take arms, comrades and shit. Dude, I had someone who actually knew about that on my boat. You could have learned something from her, maybe. I should write a pamphlet one of these days. A proper one, like political and stuff. Sometimes when I'm in the shower, I have these thoughts you wouldn't believe. Just great stuff. But I guess I can't really take the time off. This whole place would just fall apart without me. I can't do that to these people, right? Uh -huh. Eh, that stinks. Mm -hmm. Not as much as you, but still. They smelly stuff. Hey, thanks, Stellars. As always, you're a pearl. I got it from here. Good this dude. Still nothing. 
nothing new in there. Wow, okay, Jackie. Good tidings! Oh. Young lady, how I appreciate your visits. Always some treasure for old Francis here. What have you brought for my admiration today? Oh, nothing? You're... You're looking for something from my collection? How very queer. Well then, let's hear it. An instrument. My instrument collection is immense, dear. You'll have to be more precise. A delicate schooner with masts of crystal and sails of warped steel. How very poetic and intriguing. Very well, let me think, let me think. Aha! Yes, I do have one such instrument. And although I do not know its name, I figured it was quite rare. I wouldn't normally part with such a prized find, but to tell you the truth, it has become quite bothersome to ferry around. Its glass rods are delicate and fragile. I need to clear a wide berth around it just to make sure it does not break. Just imagine what wonders I could tightly pack in the space it currently occupies. Yes, very well, it's decided. I will give the instrument to you. Not for free, though. This here raft is no charity. As usual, consult the available errands for my specific mates. Okay, well, let's see. I can sell some chachis. And what are your errands? Handle with care. Strange instrument. Silver. Ingots. Squid. Snow crabs. And lobster. We have everything. There you go. And you still want your electrum sheets, but I want to upgrade the smithy first. Oh, we should buy things. Well, we could take it straight back to her. But let's spread things out a bit. I... Hmm, I just know Jackie's gonna bother us again. Let's go to Sandwich Walk and get that that, uh, lighthouse lit. Commander! I can see your dedication to the quest of nourishment. Any explorer of any worth needs sustenance. An adventurer's pouch must contain multitudes. In my case, it's always the circumference of the red tomatoes of death. For every occasion, my absolute favorite fare. That's tomato pizza, if you didn't get it. Ah, thank you for the hint. Uh, but I don't have any on me. Have a corn dog. Hi, Alex. Uh, sandwich walk. Need any of the stuff on Irina right now? And that's right, I need to grow some linen. Luckily, I've got loads of seeds for it. seeds, turnips, no tomatoes at the moment. Okay, 
Hey, sandwich walk. There's another lighthouse here. Also a sheep, but we don't need that. <laughs> Let's follow the arrow. Maybe that'll take us where we need to go. Leave me alone in this darkness. Oh, very well. Whoa! All the lights are on. Okay, now let's go after that treasure map. 40 minus 50. Superb! As the second fire of Tondor is lit, clamors of exaltation spread throughout the vast expanses of the kingdom. The Chosen One has arrived! She who bears the light will help us all! Glory to the Commander! Glory to Halor! Your heart lifted by such a grandiose acclamation, your soul irradiates with serenity. But your mind remains watchful and perceptive. You know that, stirred by an upheaval that marks their near demise, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan must be closing on your position. And, lo and behold, roll initiative! Twenty! Critical! Without a moment of hesitation, you jump into the fray. Taking by surprise the approaching phalanx of orc fighters, you ready yourself to mow through them with deftness and style. Fight! Hunt some orc. There's more of you. Have enough XP potions to upgrade the smithy at this point. What a fight! They didn't stand a chance! What remains of their shattered dark armors is promptly blown away by the swift northern wind. Commander, you are victorious once again! This time, Gomgata couldn't oppose your strength and was heroically slain! The orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan shall henceforth dread your might, Commander. Cunning they will have to prove to even attempt to find you. But let's not dawdle a second more. The goal is within your grasp, Commander. Let's set sail again. On to the ultimate fire of Tondor. We want to get more lightning? Eh, nah. I want to upgrade the smithy. One steel sheet, five gold ingots, twelve XP potions, and a celestial sheet. Now we can make those five electrum sheets that Francis wants. We're gonna need more silver.
And ready. And here we are at the treasure spot. Electrum sheets. It's a relief. Rare coin collection. Not not an old coin collection like most of them, but a rare coin collection. Here we are. Rare coin collection. Rusted and rare coin collection. It must be valuable, but who knows? Hmm. Alright, well, where to next? There's Nordsea Pier. There's the Gold Dragon. Or we could go back to Daria. Sea Pier was up north, I believe. We haven't investigated everything in Kaltstein Mines yet. That's interesting. There's Nordsea Pier. Susan's right by there, too. Okay, let's go to the bus then. Wonder what sarcasm Susan has for us. Potatoes. Got our linen, which we really do want to be growing. Let's see. We upgraded the smithy. They're an improvement for the cellar at all. Don't have it. But I've made a note of where I can get it. Obscure canopy. It's Crow's End, Hidden Shrine, Shadow Forest, Hidden Thicket. Okay, well, I've got a little bit of searching to do then.
up here. Hey, Stella. Wow, I'm impressed. Your playstyle has been so good so far. I mean, your spells could be a bit optimized for sure, but your roleplay is friggin' A. Even Bob was impressed. And, yeah, when we've never had a girl at the table before. We're happy you're here. I'm really happy. I'll try to finish the campaign to the best of my ability. More NPCs, more background elements, more magic items. <laughs> Commander, I... well, never mind. I have some sacks, Stella. Do you want some? I wonder what his never mind is for. Alright. Susan's got something for us at the museum. So we've clearly checked off the requirements for some kind of prize. I should replace these things. Susan, what you got? Besides your snark, of course, which is ever-present. Oh, we've collected four out of four ceramic figurines, and we get... Well, well. You are back with your creepy-looking dolls. These things are most definitely haunted. You know that, right? You even look cursed. You can see it in your eyes. Those eyes have seen things. Out of this world things. Deep in the abyss things. You should really kick this habit of collecting such strange objects. It would clear your head. It would even give me some peace of mind. Take this. Just get out of my sight. Blackberry outfit. Okay, cool. We have also caught more fish. Oh, great. While you were slaying fish left and right, I was doing something important. No, I'm not telling you. That would break my sacred oath as the collector. I am duty bound to take that secret to the great beyond. Leave my island. I've got more important things to do. Sunday's outfit. Okay. Anything else? If we catch even more fish, we can get a pirate outfit. Only missing a couple. Medals. We've encountered all the medals. Here we are, again, still do still going strong with the ingots. Mm -hmm. My hands are literally tied by my profession. I have to accept the trash you bring. What is it now? Mm -hmm. Your pocket's full of ingots. Remember to take them out before you go swimming. Here's a little something to show you I care. Mm -hmm. Not about you, but the act of showing that I care. Twilight outfit. Cool. Anything else? Okay, we've cooked some more stuff. Look at you. You're still making dishes. Good for you. You should never give up, even when people say you are bad at it. And believe me, people are talking about your bad cooking. Bye. We got five honey, okay. Well, that's a good thing, I guess, since we don't have bees on this boat. Still loads more foods to make. Alright, well, those are fun things. Let's 
get away from the yawning walrus vibes. And Nord C. Pier, and there's a rare chest here that we haven't gotten yet. Gonna need more silver for more electrum, and in fact, let's work on making that while the electrum sheet's heating up. like gold, except more so. got this. There's some more Electrum Sheets. And here we are at the last lighthouse. <gasps> Goodbye. Yeah, you're the dude who's making a movie, aren't you? Look at this. This here. This is poor workmanship. When you work on something, you need to be disciplined. You need to be precise. Anyone who works like this is just giving up on themselves. I might not be able to install drywall. However, I do know how it should be done. Huh. Didn't realize you had strong opinions about this place. This is such a pity. It's hard to find a good contractor nowadays. Let me do me in peace, please. Very well. Whoosh! Okay, well, let's see if we can find anything interesting away out here. Really got a long way that we can go. Here we are! Metal rope and a miniature diorama. Hello, person. Oh. I swam here. I've been training for weeks and weeks. Can you believe it? Oh. I made it here all by myself. Just me in the water. They told me it couldn't be done. Oh, oh. Well, who's laughing now? Me. I hope they find a neat nickname for me in the paper. Oh. Something like... Sea Legs Michael. Oh. Fish Man Mikey. Oh. Mike Finn. I'm no good. Oh. I'll let them make it up. Journalists have some great ideas, sometimes. I hope they take a good picture of me. Oh. One where you can really see my muscles. I should probably be flexing. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, dude. It's that big thing. Was 
Is there anything out in this direction? Yes, there is something. Another lighthouse. It's connected to the other one. We get a lettuce seed. Okay. I still love this music. Now where did I leave my boat? There it is. Overbrook, I think. And in fact, let's kind of go along this northern edge of the map. And try seeking some things out. Fill in these spots we haven't gotten to yet. Sublime! At last! The world erupts in elation! All the fires have been lit. Tondor has arisen. The Lich God Gornemloth is on the verge of being defeated once more. But, is it? What is this terrible ruckus you hear? A thousand war horns roar at once. Could it be? Fatefully, yes. The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan, led by one eye Amga Amgrothog himself. Clad in the eldritch armor of Rongvar, Amgrothog points his loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot. I will destroy you in the hopes of this world. Trembling in fear and apprehension, you gather your inner strength to face the enemy. Make a courage check. Eighteen! Success! The orc won't scare you, for you are the light bearer, the chosen one. Now the time has come for you to show them what you are made of. Fight! Alright, let's hunt some orc. get the XP potion for that one. Through the thick mist of the aftermath, a silhouette is barely discernible against the terrifying backdrop of a gargantuan battle. All free people of the world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. A deafening silence creeps in, an atmosphere thick as rock. Victory! The Chosen One has triumphed! She who bears the light has conquered! In a crackling sound of terror, Gornemloth's shadow stops immediately its course over the darkened sky. The Lich God is no more! May the Radiant Fae bless our souls. May Halor forever watch over your path. May the graces of Imalda sing our praises for eons to come. The world is saved! Now, jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope, her resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventures might be completed, but her story is far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she will rest her heavy shoulders. 
unload her burden, and once more gaze at the stars. Ah, oh, damn, I'm tired. Congrats! You did it, Stella! Okay, now, if you don't mind, I need to take a break. I'll take some time to think about what great adventure we could do next. A space opera with lasers and spaceships? A post-apocalyptic road war setting? Or a horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe? We'll see. Neat. Huzzah! And I guess we're going with you somewhere, Alex. Yes, that's right. Not all that far, really. Aha, linen. Let's get some more started. Let's just sail into the dark and see what we find there. And can I improve the sheep corrals? There's one. And need more linen for the other one. Okay. So they won't need as much food, or at least one of them won't for a while. lettuce, I think. Try and make some more green salads to have around for Elena. Good morning. Do I have any just now? No, I don't. Thank you for the meal. Okay, nothing yet. Good morning. Stella, I, 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 well, I can't believe the campaign is over. I mean, yeah, I'm thrilled, but I don't know. I feel empty now. Ha! You know what? I'll prepare a little something else for you. Something simpler, maybe, just to take a breather. You'll see. So we're right up at the edge of the map. Here's another little misty section. I believe we have an improvement for the cow stall. Yes, fire glow, XP potions, and silk fabric. 
the cows will be less hungry all the time. Very nice. I've already built the one for the chicken coop. We still need more linen for the last sheep corral. Okay, things are in a pretty good place. Let me make sure I've gotten all of the Buck's things? No, not yet. We need more silk fabric and steel sheet. All right. We also still need an electrum sheet for Francis. Let's make the steel sheet first. on the misty line here. And silk fabric. There you go, Buck. Powerful weapons to cut your enemies down. Oh, and Misty Woods discovered. That's a very small little spot. doesn't want her house upgraded, so she's all set. There's a proper discovery. No, no, let's actually go to Misty Woods. Anything out here? Nope. Whee! Uh-oh. Daffodil. Don't bug us out, Daffodil. Upgrade. Awesome.
I think we've made a full sweep of the place. It's easy enough to check. Okay, there's some of those deadly pulsar rays. And then we'll be back near Overbrook. Uh, but we don't need those anymore. What we need is the gold dragon, but let's leave that a bit. Let's bypass Alex. We'll just go in a very simple straight line. And we'll make that last electrum sheet. Make sure everyone's okay with food. He's sharing his snacks. You're fine. You're fine. We're all fine here. That's right. I wanted to make some more green salad, but let's just water these first. Okay, what would it take to upgrade the cellar? Just more silk fabric and bottled ectoplasm and hematite for some reason. Make us some cheese. So many eggs. There's the cellar. Let's just put loads of milk in here. Okay, Daria, let's get you this instrument that you wanted. find you. Is there a switch or does it just turn on by itself? Oh yeah, you're the one using a light bulb as an Everlight. Silly person. Jackie might be blocking the door if I try to go up the usual way, so we'll just go this way. silly about it. Hi, Daria. Have an apple. Crunchy, tart, sweet. An apple. A fruit beyond measure. 
Oh, your favorite is apples. Well, that's awesome, because it's this thing I have the most of around here. And I will give you this strange instrument. A strange instrument assembled from long glass rods and steel resonators. Daria asked for one. Oh, is that... It's... Yes, the instrument from my dream. How oddly familiar. How comforting. I think, Stella, that I once knew how to play it. My... My memories are hazy. Or rather, my memories are too many. And I know better than to trust them. So many lifetimes. Far too many to fit in this tiny life of mine. But this instrument, I know it, I'm sure of it. Thank you for the gift. Here is payment for your services. Leave me alone now. I have some practicing to do. And when you come back, perhaps I'll play for you. That's your obble. Okay. You're around here, Jackie? Yes, you are. I can give you some food. You like french fries? Ooh, that smells nice. You know, I've been trying to eat better recently. Stay away from junk food. So I probably shouldn't. But strict diets never work, you know. The trick is to indulge once in a while. And I've been good. Real good. So I'll have this fried food. Thanks a lot, Stella. Ah, oh, he likes fried food. Excellent. Have a hug. There you go. You've been not pestering me lately. I'm sure you will the instant I leave this place, but it's fine. in the vending machine? No. It's clearly a lot more that can go in there. Alright, well, I guess we can try the gold dragon then. Let's see what Elena has to say about that. I need some more oil. Uh, yep. Here he is again. WTH. I told you not. Talk with Daria. And why you give her an instrument? Instrument. <laughs> what the hell is your problem? Get your ass here. <laughs> SAP. <laughs> the incident. <laughs> Jackie has sent me a message to the pager. He sounded very, very mad. I should probably head to Overbrook right away. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna make some sunflower oil. And I'm gonna make some olive oil. And I'm gonna combine some olive oil with some lettuce. And it'll be great.
right, that feels like a dragon of some kind. Oh, and I can't even go in the orchard right now. Event in progress. <laughs> Student. A new task. This creature is in pain. It will thrash and fight. It will be a decent challenge for you. As long as you don't forget to use your dash ability. Go. I will be timing you, of course. And clock's on! No, no, I should have dashed. Getting my... Getting my... Triggers mixed up again. Where are you? I wouldn't have gotten that if I didn't have stereo hearing. more gold than we know what to do with. Difficult to see the updrafts there. Almost lost my footing there. This is a long one. I hear you on the right side. Okay, that hides itself. one. Okay, I hear you on the right again. Whee! <laughs> and something's done in the kitchen. Slightly treacherous. I hear you on the left. And that's it. Wow. Didn't do too badly that time. I remember the first time I tried this, I was falling in the water all the time. Not bad. You are showing promise. What are you waiting for? Go on now, student. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do two things. One, I'm gonna finish this orchard. 
harvest, which I had been in the middle of when the dragon showed up. And next I'm gonna get this hopefully green salad. Yes. Good haul, student. You made good on your promise to find these valuables. I know these bring back memories. Oh, you mean the, the ring? Your ring from a past marriage. Those coins from your brother, you say? You need to stop thinking of such things. Your past will always bring you shame. Your past will bring you down. Your heart needs to guide you forward. I need you to do something hard. Perhaps impossible in your current state. I need one of those valuables. Take your time to decide. Then you can give it to me. Well, first I'm gonna give you a salad. If you have any more of this green salad, you know where to find me. And you can have the marriage ring. Once a symbol of promise, now it's just lost. That must have been hard. Such is life. You live. You lose. Were you expecting something in return? I will let you have some time for yourself now, student. See then. I'll just let Buck sleep in, maybe. Well, he slept in long enough, and then if I had to do crazy dragon tests in the morning, everybody else up too. Alright, that's done. Uh, let's stop by Francis first. Can I afford the next cheap upgrade yet? Yes, I can. Huzzah! Uh, let's see, I already, already got the cellar, didn't I? Yes, I did. How about the windmill? Oh, I just need pulsar ingots. simple enough. Especially since we got so much of it from Elena's tests. And according to my notes, that should be everything. What have we got for the boat? We need some rose gold sheets and more XP potions to get another boat upgrade.
much. Francis, I have some Electrum sheets for you. I also have a Chachi for you. Two diamonds, five Electrum sheets, and a couple of eggs, and then we get a treasure map. Anything else? We do have some tomatoes around. Okay, well, let's see what's going on at this here hospital. Okay, treasure map. 220-167. Okay. Well, we'll have a look at that after the hospital here. Nothing new in the vending machine yet. Jackie, I'm coming. Sorry, not sorry. It's kind of a dystopia. What the shit are y'all looking at, huh? I didn't do nothing wrong, alright? It was that gosh darn psycho nutcase up there. She just lashed out at me. She's a lunatic. I've said it for years. You should just pump her full of, full of pills and be done with it. Goodness, no wonder I am death glaring this guy. No answer, huh? That's what I thought. Bunch of friggin' losers. Mm -hmm. Huh? What? Oh, you're there! Fine old freaking Lee. And what took you so long? Were you checking out the birds and the pretty clouds on the way here? Well, a dragon, but. Well, I could have used your help for once. Oh, you want to know what happened, don't you? I'll tell you what happened. You happened. I told you that she was unstable. Mm -hmm. I told you that she needed to be left alone. But no, you couldn't leave it to the professionals. Little Miss Perfect just has to stick her nose in everyone's business. She was already crazy to begin with, and then you give her that psycho instrument? <laughs> His music is... is all... out of tune. Made with glass and sharp steel? Are you out of your goddamn mind? So yeah, I go in and I try to take it from her and then... And then... Whatever. This job is not about you, Stella. It's not about feeling good. It's about safety. It's about keeping us safe from these morons. And keeping them safe from themselves. What? Calm down? You calm down. I swear, this freaking place! I can't take it anymore. Actually, know what? Yeah, I won't take it anymore. Cause I quit. Ha! You can all go to hell. And you have fun taking care of these idiots. So long, shitstain. Don't bother calling. I won't answer. Whoa. Come quick. What's up, dude? I heard Jackie shouting. I'm not sure what happened. He looks hurt, though. What's up, teal person? I heard all of that. That orderly, Jackie. He's always been a loose cannon, but he's gone too far this time. Things are really bad out here. He's the worst thing to ap happen to Overbrook since mandatory nighttime slop. I can't believe what he did to Daria. She's usually so quiet. She keeps to herself. She only had one thing, her music. 
And, well, she fought to protect it. Oh, what a mess. This place has really fallen on some hard times. We need better living conditions. We need fresh meals. We need proper medical care. We are here to be cured, not forgotten or ill-treated. I'm not waiting on the staff, not even on management. I'm taking matters into my own hands, but I'm going to need some help. Possibly by someone with a boat and people skills. <laughs> How convenient. What do you say? You don't need to answer. I just know you're already in. All right, let's start. Here's a list of potential candidates. You'll need to find capable people. We can't have this situation happening again. I'm counting on you. Huh. Recruit a chef for Overbrook in Hoseki Quarry. Talk to the foreman in South Point Docks and recruit a gardener for Overbrook in Villa Maggiore. Well, that guy gets a new job. Wow. So we're really going to be going around to these other just kind of minor NPCs and helping them out and putting them in new places. Wow. This is cool. This is really neat. And this is all the most recent DLC. Daria, are you okay? Well, you're... you're literally hanging out for now. Wow, okay. Still nothing at the vending machine. Cool. <laughs> Student, I have another teaching for you. And you're tough enough not to be broken. I need you to take me to the Everdor. You are equipped to do so now. We don't need to say more until we get there. Peace. Quiet. That is good practice. It starts now. Wow. Well. Blunt as always. See, we've got a, a treasure map to find, so 220, 167. 160. Okay, so way up here. Yes, 221-67. And... Let's see what we can do about XP potions. As I recall, this is kind of like stand where you can... You can get some more uh, events in if you just check in at the room. Start the event? Yes! All right, all we gotta do is interact with his gaming supplies. And we can have another orc hunt. Come 
on. Oh, I didn't quite get the two of them together. This looks like the, the paper cutout style in Wilder Myth. Now that I have that to compare it to. Cool. Still need a few more. And also some rose gold sheets. Some tomatoes. Shrine discovered. A whole nother shrine? That's new. So, what's this place? It's fancy. Improved tools, an Everlight booster that improves both your fishing, your mining, and your fishing. Nice. I guess we're going to have to try mining and fishing then. <laughs> Look at Francis sitting on the way edge of the map. Way out edge. All right, well, where to go next? Zeki Quarry, South Point Docks. Oh, 
Austin Cove, there's Hummingbird, Villa Maggiore is right around there. So let's take the bus. Oh, got a letter. Looter's Literary Review. Front reads to Adventurer First Order, Buck. Looter's Literary Review presents the first of the Crow's End Inc. Lost Bounty. Remember, salt can be a treacherous foe when you are made of ice. See enclosed portal land chart for reference. Hmm. Maybe we'll talk to Buck in the morning. And try fishing. Anchovy. What fun. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go for the, well, let's drop off Elena. That's what she wants. We'll, we'll talk to you after we get rid of stern teacher dog. Then this can be a true party boat once again. She's headed back to her house, I'm sure. It counts as an event, so I can't interact with things. Maybe I should make it more of a priority to put living people's houses on the bottom deck. It may not matter for much longer. <laughs> Stella. We are here. I know I've been working you hard lately. I hope you do understand. Everyone needs a little bit of discipline in their lives. For someone who takes others to the afterlife, you're holding on surprisingly well. I do have one last request for you. It won't be an easy one, considering what we've been talking about. Will you make the journey with me? Yes, of course. Thank you. Meanwhile, the cellar and the cow and all the other processes on the boat just keep on what, what they're doing. how she slows down slightly going up the stairs. One last thing. So, you were my first student in this place. 
I don't think you deserve a passing grade. I won't hold it against myself. And neither should you. A lesson you should learn from this. If life is hard, you should not be hard to it. People have the ability to change. You have the ability to change. You can shape how you want to be. I know that this is sometimes a tradition. The passing of a legacy. A token at the end. An heirloom. Something for you to remember my time here. I do not wish to give you one. However, I have prepared something greater. Tasks and requests from the great beyond that you will receive. A useless object will not make you think of me, but lessons will. Thanks, I guess. Hopefully, this will all be over soon. Let me think of something. Okay. I'll just say it. I just want to say... Truly. From teacher to student, I am proud. You did good work. It's just nothing else. You're not anything but a teacher. That's all you've got. I've been thinking. When we get there, maybe, just maybe, we can hug. We'll see how I feel. This is the only time I will let you. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for some good challenges, Elena. Came! Ah, there's Lily's butterflies. If I wanted to go right now, I could, but the hospital needs us. So let's not. Let us instead... Go to... Villa Maggiora. Let's... Use safe travel mode. 
came. You have to check this out. I subscribed to this magazine a few weeks ago. It's Looter's Literary Review. What? Are you kidding me? You don't know what it is? It's just the most epic treasure hunting magazine out there. Every issue has a very difficult and fantastic riddle to find the lost treasures of the Crow's End Ink Trading Empire. They ferried goods from island to island. Before Raccoon Inc. became a merchant powerhouse, Crow's End reigned supreme. Of course, Theodore Raccoon started ambushing Crow's End vessels out of pure mercantile spite. The company collapsed after a few months of constant attack. Their wreckage still haunts our sea to this day. Entire shipments of valuables were lost at sea and never recovered. Until now. The answers are all here. One Crow's End Inc. treasure chart per issue. That's the promise. The rest of the magazine is articles about living off the land, fighting your dreams when sleeping. It even has ads for crystals and dragon eggs. It's a pretty great magazine. The guy who writes it is called Casper Crayford. Obviously a pseudonym for security reasons, to protect himself from fans and raccoon ink. Anyway, I just got my first issue. There's an article on secret airwaves that can cook food in seconds. I'm going to read that right now. You should take a crack at this issue's riddle. I bet it's a hard one. Go ahead, open it up. Oh, wow! What an adventure! And look at that, you got a portal and chart, which is basically just a pretty looking treasure map. That will help you find the treasure more easily. It's an old map, so it might not be that easy. You can use it with the projector in the archive room B2522. Aha, go try it. Okay, yeah, so this is something pretty new then. There's Elena's spirit flower. There's our cheese. Guess we don't need the rest of this salad. Project the Looter's Literary Review Portal and Chart Number One, the Archive Room. Okay. So hungry. Hello. My sincerest apologies for pestering you with such mundane requirements, Commander, but your humble servant feels the need for sustenance. Have Will you base? Have a hug, too. Alright, well here we are at the villa. And I remember the gardener here. you. You're back. It's been a minute. Me? No, I've been fine. Not lonely at all. Just fine. I got this little shack. My things are in there. My toothbrush. My dry socks. I've got it going on. Yeah, my life is pretty great. It's good you keep checking up on me. I'm totally fine. Been fine for a while now. Nothing says fine like living out here, next to an empty mansion, sleeping in this tiny shack, no running water, no electricity, hearing the squirrels having fun at night. It's the best. Fruit and garden. What happens if I keep talking to you? Okay, I give up. I'm lonely. So very lonely. I hate being by myself. No one listens to my jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? No one. It's terrible. You gotta help me out. I might start knitting at any time. You gotta find me a better job than this. I need a better roof than this one. I can see the stars, but birds can also watch me sleeping. I see. That's interesting. I've never heard of Overbrook. And it comes with free room and board? Hmm. 
Well, I can't say no to that. I already spilled the beans on being miserable and lonely. Coincidentally, I also spilled beans on my sleeping bag, so the timing couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> you got me. I need to start being less honest. Okay, I'll go. Let me pack my things and say goodbye to my woodland friends. I'll meet you at Overbrook. Nice. So, Hoseki Quarry and South Point Docks. Neato. Oh my gosh. Dear Stella. Daria has recently requested that you visit at your earliest convenience. Regards, Overbrook's caretaker. Well, it's a lot more articulate than people usually are over there. But it's just because Jackie's gone. Okay, let's see. Um, so we've got a couple more places over here to go. Oseki Quarry is not far, as I recall. Yes, it's right there. There's even a couple rare chests we didn't get yet. Okay. Sustenance. He's got snacks for us. Good deal. Portaland charts. A chart that details the location of a secret diving treasure. Whoa! Hmm, okay. So we've got... Let me kind of make a note of this. Biggish Island. And a little one right next to it. And a misty or icy line down there. And a dark line up there. Probably the edge of the map. Now it's too late. Buck's gone to bed. We'll just check back with him later. Okay, so there's two rare chests here that we have not found yet. probably haven't been here since I got all the movement abilities. So let's see how we do. Hmm. 
Dude, we got a diamond in with the coal. Is that because of our new boost to the Everlight that we'll start getting random gems now? Or predetermined gems, perhaps. Back to work, I suppose. New request. Postscripta. Check the mailbox. We got a letter from Elena. She must have set them to send on a timer. And yeah, if this were the base game, we would be pretty much done with everything by now. Hmm. This day is going to be a long one. Something's up there, but I'm gonna have to get to it some other way, it looks like. Nope. Dash is enough. Some opals and some cherry seeds. Oh, here's another one. Loads of diamonds and an opal and a crystal chandelier. Crazy. Ridiculous amounts of wealth. Not something I remember at all. Remember when Astrid used to come mining with us? There's another diamond. Oh! I've been working in this mine since before I was born. I have multiple problems with that. My mom worked here. My dad worked here. My granddad. Well, you get it. I don't know if I would ever leave. To work at the Overbrook Hospital? In the kitchen. I see. Cooking is like hitting rocks? <laughs> Are you sure? Those two things sound very different. You do make a compelling argument. You sure have a way with words. And that voice. Well, I'm sold on the idea. And I'm sure all the other workers will be too. Trouble is, we can't just up and leave. We need people to cover our posts. Wait. Wait. I've got it. Wait. No. I just lost it. Wait. No, wait, I got it. What if instead of people, we use dummies? We just need to dress up scarecrows filled with hay and stuff in our work clothes. They'll look like regular employees, but they won't move. I'm sure the Raccoon Inc. Mining Co. won't know the difference. Plus, as an added benefit, dummies don't need to eat. Fewer lunch breaks, more productivity. It's a win-win situation. They won't talk back, either. They'll be the perfect employees. We just need to find some material to stuff into those dummies. So... You should go out and get everything. Some wood, some linen, a couple of carrots. Yeah, that could work. Oh yeah, this is a totally great plan. I can't wait to start hitting food and make real culinary art. Come back when you have all the materials. <laughs> Working dummies. Okay. Seven maple logs, seven linen fabric, and seven carrots. All right, we just need to make the fabric. Hi there. 
So, yeah, we need to get your stuff. And I've got one more rare chest to find. This is all stuff I can get to without using anything like dash, so I've got a lot of those already. Oh. Wait, get out of here. I can't be seen talking to you. Alright, alright. Right, there was a book guy here. Hmm. He doesn't want us to tell anyone about his reading on the job, which is fine with me. There's something under there. You can hear the fans blowing. We should have one more rare chest to find. Mushrooms! Okay, this was a blueprint, but no longer. I think that's about as much as we can do here. I think there's one more chest. be back in here, so I'm not going to stress out about it just yet. Oh, no, we got them all. Good for us. Got a couple letters from Elena. To Stella. Stella, I think you've had enough time off. I've marked a few errands for you to do. Francis will provide you with the details. Stella, you have a bit more to go. I think you can upgrade your stations. Buck wants to talk. Whoa, what a great riddle. I bet you won't figure it out. I know where to look, but I've taken an oath. The Looter's Oath, which states, never talk about looting with another looter. You're on your own for this one, Stella. But... Buck's the one who's taken that oath. Let me find the voice. One second. Arr! Ahoy there, matey! Old Johnny Silverleg is right here by me maiden's side. Hoist in the mainsail! As an humble buccaneer, I could ne'er disobey me, Captain. Crows in ink treasures are an old Corsair's dream. You ever need it, I can offer up me cart cartography knowledge. Come see me, if you ever feel lost on these seas. Arr! Good luck, Captain. <laughs> Yo ho ho. 
Chachis. Yes, we got this chandelier. Uh, a couple of rare seeds and errands. Zipping away items. Elena's stipulation. She wants us to hand in seven of every gemstone, including diamonds. So it's a good thing we're getting them for mining now. Also, loads of coffee beans and tea leaves and celery and potatoes. Get more diamonds this way. Ways of getting other diamonds. Oh, if we get some more bright jelly, we can turn that in for more of the citrine. Okay. Well, okay. Bright jelly is something for us to do then. First, we need linen fabric. Wow, we've got a lot of stuff to do now. I was afraid we might get too close to finishing the game today, but that is not going to be a problem, I see. Okay, let's find the dude and give him his stuff. this way. Hi there! So, good job! You've got it all. I'll get everyone together and we'll make the dummies. We'll make them look real. Raccoon Inc. Mining Co. won't be able to tell the difference. When they realize that all the mining operations have stopped, it will be too late. We'll be free and ready, ready to make some nice cannoli. Thanks for this new exciting career opportunity. See you in the kitchen at Overbrook! where everyone's gone for this. Okay, so let's think about this riddle. looks like about the right idea. And there was an X somewhere there too. I'm gonna have another look at that acetate. marks the spot in a place that we can get to. This is the dark area. Let's 
So let's get up to that bus stop. And then we'll be close. Gonna need more EXP potions. I wonder if Buck's game is ready to go again. Ingredients! Commander, I have some magic ingredients for you. Toadstools from the Shadow Forest. Can I offer them to you? A mushroom. Thank you. And some candy. I think I can interact with your table just now. Okay, so let's go to this bus stop. It's in about the right place. the small island and about as far west as the gap. Somewhere around about here? thing Elena wanted to turn in a lot of was tea leaves. Also coffee beans. So no harm in starting some of those. Here we go. Ahoy! Oh, marble, a garden upgrade, and a field upgrade. Water retaining soil for both. Nice. Before the acetates, there was some other way to get these in the lily update. I'm pretty sure, because I know I've seen these before. But this is the first time I've played the game when the acetates were available. What you got, Buck? Good work. Oh, great pirate captain. What a marvelous find in the ice, no less. Many captains have perished in such conditions. Not ye. No need to walk the plank. Arr! Now we just have to wait for the next issue of Looter's Literary Review. Hopefully it has more articles about seagulls. 
Excellent. Okay, so we need to go to South Point Docks. And also Overbrook, and we're kind of closer to the ladder, so let's go see Overbrook. Anything we might have missed out here? No more rare chests. Caldstein Mines, still haven't gone back to that place. I'm not sure that we need to. But, um... Let's make sure that we get some bright jelly so we can get the citrines. So let's... Set a couple of wave waypoints. Nice long voyage. Let's see what we can do to improve our garden and our field. We need fire glow and silica powder. In both cases, all right, which means we're going to need more silica powder. That's easy to do. Now, Buck says he likes tomato pizza. Do we have the recipe for that? Yes, wheat flour and tomato. Some fire glow. Which means we'll need to gather some more fire glow seeds too. It's kind of nice that we have more uses for those now. Because there didn't really used to be very many aside from just a very few of those kind of Gustav era upgrades. Start the event? Yes. We want bright jelly so we can turn it in for citrine. limbs won't hurt either. was our first special hazard event. Remember Gwen showing us how it worked? How she was so afraid of these? That was a long time ago now.
Okay, that's a few. I've been neglecting my animals over here. Start some flower going. Good morning, Buck. Now we can hunt some orc. The only problem with the orcs is very often they appear at such a rate that you can't you can't quite get the next one with a light burst. Even if you get within range in time. enough? Not quite. Not quite. Here we go again. More bright jelly. Oh, I'm missing one. too high up.
Loads of them! Anymore? the kitchen timer. That's not the kitchen. Tomato pizza! going to Overbrook, ultimately. Since we're waiting on this fire glow mostly, might as well help it along. That didn't take long. Some more odd seeds. The monies. I think we have enough to upgrade one of the growing areas. can do both. Water retaining soil. So now you can kind of see a layer of mulch over the dirt there. That seems to reset its water status though. That is fine. good. Now we get two wheat flour per wheat that we put in because we upgraded the windmill. And you're hungry. Well, have your favorite. This can't be by the moons of Dorumin. This is the red disk of unfathomable bliss! Commander, I have no words. May your endeavors be forever blessed by the gentle touch of the Radiant Fae. May your fortitude be as eternally strong as Rogar the Brave. This is delicious. Man, I love tomato pizza so much. Aww. And here we are at Overbrook.
It is so much nicer here now. It's not all dreary. The music's better. It's not raining. This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Okay, yeah, I'll get your last person soon. Stella! Hi, Daria. You really are here. I asked for you. I asked the guards. No, the... Guardians? This room felt like a cage. And now... I'm told that I'm free. Free? Uncertain. The freedom might be a trick, I thought. A sinking of the light. A twisted mirror. A... Uh, no. You are here. Magic. I am... I... Ah. Thank you for coming. I... I'm not as... I was when last we met, Stella. You see, I am adrift on an ocean. Of my own making. And I've come to realize that... That... I cannot produce the words. I shout them over the endless expanse of water where they die down to whispers and insignificant ripples. And... and... I believe that you can still hear them. You are the one who listens. Who knows how to listen. You can illuminate the ocean's starless nights. The instrument you have gifted me. And... Ah. You remember my song, don't you? Please, go outside and play it. It shall guide me. I believe you will understand. Play Daria's song outside of Daria's room at Overbrook. Overbrook. That's Summer's song. Oh, here we go. I need to follow the trail. Whoa! Okay, game. For a second I thought something had crashed. When you first climbed up the tower, you saw only a fragile thing deserving of care and empathy. You did not see the steely bonds with which the giant had stilled me. And neither did you see the tumultuous sea underneath, and how it grew angrier and angrier in accordance to the giant's fickle spirits. No, you saw the pain and neglected the wound. Okay... We're clearly in some kind of metaphor for some kind of mental strangeness here. It is unsurprising, then, that you were unready for the giant's last dying spasms. For his encounter with demons of his own that would break his will. Unsurprising and understandable was your confusion. When the invisible but raging sea swept me away, and where, unmoored and weighted as I was, I sunk to the deepest depths. Here you are, with this thing. 
These depths I knew well, and had hoped to never visit them again. Within them roamed all manners of vicious beasts, toothed, fanged, and scaled, hungry always for suffering and pain, for doubts and memories and minds. Every single morsel. To survive, I thrashed and I flailed, so much so that I managed to shed my bonds, along with strands of myself, and the beasts, as expected, promptly devoured them. And these platforms are not always solid. I can only step on them when they're illuminated by those torches and they sparkle into being. Lightened as I was, I floated back to the surface, far from the beasts. It was there that gentle hands plucked me from a gentler sea. And there, as I was lying surrounded by wispy figures, neither good nor bad, I contemplated an image that had been burned in my empty mind. For through the nests of the beasts, a strange glimmer caught my eye, remnants and wrecks from past voyages, containing treasures of a past long forgotten. Fresh, delicate, juicy, delicious fruit. Thank you. I think we both need a hug after that. Strong grip, a warm heart. New request, the Titanic Days. Buy new items at the vending machine. That experience with Daria was quite something, but I think it's helping her. Perhaps if I improve Overbrook, she'll get even better. Now this place is looking so much nicer now. It's all colorful? Someone's painted it? Hey! What did you do? Seriously? Spit it out! Daria seems to have really responded to you. I've never seen her like that. So vibrant. I don't know what you did, but it did wonders. And another thing. What's going on with Overbrook? I've worked here for ages and it never changes. Odd things have been happening ever since you came around. One minute, everything is going to shit. The power is constantly going in and out. We've got rats as big as dogs. It's always raining. Then, poof, things are turning around. They're still bad, but less bad. You know, it's like, I still can't swim, but I don't have monster-sized rats trying to eat my feet. But you know what I think? I think all these changes, they're related to you and that weird-looking vending machine. Don't make that face, I mean it. Listen, I've never used it personally. I don't believe in money and the concept of spending said money. But whenever you use it, weird stuff happens. More good than weird. Still, it's pretty weird. So I'm thinking, you should just go all out and buy a bunch of stuff from the vending machine. Really let yourself loose. If it magically brings new life to this place, who am I to stand in its way? Also, it might cheer up Daria and everything el everyone else in this depressing hell. I won't keep you. Enjoy your snacks at the vending machine. Fingers crossed for the weird good stuff. <laughs> A helpful spending spree. Buy new items at the vending machine on Overbrook. Health nuts, loose spices, and crackers for animals. Okay. What all is happening over here? There was stuff over here before. This is still in ruins. Now where's my guy? Who cares about your guy? Can't you see stuff's happening here? Crazy, strange, magical things? Oh, here we go. Health nuts. The only granola bar that screams healthy. Required materials, two radiant springs. When did I get those? Looks like a bag of mixed spices. Crackers for animals. Hang on. It's 
Cypress is Elena's spirit flower. We have metal rope. The shining coils from beyond. Okay, well, I guess that's something I got by interacting with Daria. Well, all right, if I can afford one of these things, then I guess I better get it. Thank you. Whoosh! This is a quick way over to Daria's place, so... now. Look at that. Please stay away. Okay, no hug right now. And no notes out here. So I can't do an event with you again. to my standard song. All right, well, let's let's work on finding another person. Now, because I I need to be pretty well wrapped up here before 6, I'm probably going to end um even earlier than that just to make sure I don't run into some kind of unskippable event or something. So let's see. Oh, play Daria's song somewhere near the power station and over the Okay, well let's let's do that. We can do that and then tomorrow we'll have well not tomorrow, but next week. We'll have plenty more to explore, apparently. Nope, maybe it needs to be lit up. Probably I have to look for the post-it notes. There we are, post-it notes. One memory is so deeply ingrained I could never forget it. The day I started hearing the noise. Faintly at first, then louder, and louder yet. Flip, flop. Distant drops of water that only I could hear. Perhaps I saw it as a sign that I could no longer fit within the warm confines of the family home. So I left, seeking the source of the noise.
In the beginning of my quest, the land was gentle. I remember the tender grass and the soft wind. I kept following the sound of the droplets, all the while paying little attention to the waters rising at my feet. Soon enough, I was wading through a murky and dark flood, surrounded by a thick fog and yelps and growls and glimmers. From this period, there is not much to remember, a vagrancy that lasted in eternity. No dive can ever restore these memories. They have been wiped clean, picked to the bone. It is as though they never existed, as if fallen through cracks in time. Still, they were. The mud and scratches bear witness. are so high now, nothing pierces them. An endless ocean, unbearably calm. The murk has dissipated, and the water is clearer than it has ever been. The flip-popping has stopped, and so, with nowhere to go but down, I dive. But I must do so carefully, delicately, lest I disturb the silt that has, through the eons, set into a peaceful but fragile blanket. Radiant Springs. More paint. More trippy rainbows. Bag of mixed spices. Last Supper. The area around the cafeteria looks better. I should try playing there. All right, let's do another. Now that we know what's going on. Post-it notes like she's trying to remember things on them. This wreck lies hidden among the reefs and the mud. Only a faint glow betrays its presence. It lies on its side, abandoned and forgotten. But as I get closer, the noise hits me. Voices happy and sad. Playful bangs and clangs. Within the ship live a great many deal of faceless shades. Mother and father, unruly brothers and sisters. A cacophony that is enticing and dreadful at once. in the blind forest caliber here. the shades escapes me. It is protiform and atonal, insubstantial. It has a ghastly quality that I cannot easily understand, and it seems to actively resist focus. 
It takes some convincing for me to accept it for what it is. An echo of a previous self. Remnants undevoured by the depths, unaware of them even. A treasure of incommensurable value. I meet it with cautious curiosity. And suddenly, I'm filled with sadness, for I realize or remember one essential truth that perhaps I would rather not remember. The tableau before me exudes a chaotic happiness, a family brought together by conflicts and laughter. This is ridiculous. Fingers are slipping on my controller just a smidge. If at any point some all powerful painter were to judge the tableau and remove the ghastly lone shade from it, nothing of the composition would be affected, unnoticed and untouched. Well, we've been in there a while. I'm not sure what the next one's gonna look like. So I actually think that because I am beholden to things today, I am gonna end us early. I'm gonna head us back to the boat. We may have some mail. No. We've got Francis. What's up, Francis? You'll trade a citrine, won't you? Of course, that only works once. That only gives us one citrine, but it gets us one closer to the gem collection that Elena wants us to put together. Lena's lesson. Lots of various sea creatures. Very well. Coffee beans, tea leaves, celery, potato, all kinds of things. So let's just do a little more maintenance on the boat. That's nice and short and predictable. Next week we can bring in whatever more crazy stuff awaits us. Well, unexpected and interesting stuff. I think we need some more celery.
sells things off. Buy rare seeds. Cycle the orchards. Here we go. Oh, look at that. We can see the tower all painted up. So let's get one more hug from Lily here. And then that will be it for this week. So just to make sure that I don't uh, run into something long and unexpected. I'll take us out to the end screen here. And let's see if we can find someone to raid. Uh, no one I follow is on right now. So I will just leave you to that. Have a fantastic week and I will see you next week with whatever else is going on here. So, have a good one. Thanks for joining me as always, and see you later.